I'm going to show you how to make creative kiwis in the hoop bat freebie and this makes an ideal bookmark or coaster it's up to you how you use it and for that I'm going to be using some wash away stabilizer my 5x7 hoop I've got a selection of threads and matching bobbin as well I've got my squizzers batting and fabrics cut to size and I'll be using some masking tape as well to hold my fabric and batting in the hoop. We're going to start off by hooping some wash away stabiliser. So I put it over my outer frame and then place the inner frame inside and then just make sure that there's no wrinkles in the actual hoop and I use pins around the outside just to keep my um, stabilizer nice and taut in the hoop. You just push it through and put it back through and then once again place the pin on the hoop push it through and then pull it back round and through and that way your pin sits nice and fl um, flat on top of your hoop all the way round you can use any pins you like, you don't have to use anything special. My pins are called T-pins if you're interested, but you can use any that you've got. So once that's all nice and secured, you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one. And that's going to do the placement outline. now going to place your batting over the outline and place your fabric on top and then you're going to tape it in place. You're now going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure the batting and the fabric to the hoop. Next you're going to stitch round number three and that's going to do the detail in the wings of the bat. I've changed my thread to orange, you might want to change yours as well to a different colour. And then you're going to stitch round number four and that's going to do the word Halloween. would be the word happy. I'm not actually stitching that out on this so I've skipped through to round number six ready for after the next step. So we're going to turn the hoop over and add our fabric to the back of the hoop and then tape it in place. Turn your hoop back over and you're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number six and that's going to secure the backing to the hoop. I've removed the tape from both the back and front of my hoop and we're now going to trim up all the excess fabric and batting from both the front and the back. So we're going to start off with the back, turn it over and then trim up close to the stitch line. I'm sorry if you can hear snoring in the background, it's my cat.
We're now going to pop that back into your machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to do all the satin stitching around the edge here. So you might want to change your thread to an appropriate colour and you also want a matching bobbin in as well. You're now going to free your bat from the hoop. So turn your hoop over and then just trim around the edge. Don't cut the stitching though and don't worry too much about the stabiliser because we're going to dissolve that in a minute with some warm water. Now all that remains to do is to dissolve the excess stabiliser. We're just going to take some warm water and a cotton bud and just wipe it round the edge of your bat and that will dissolve all the excess stabiliser. And that's our back completed. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of fun ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.